Moza Racing are a sim racing brand really on the rise. They've released a ton of new sim racing products across the past year or so, with a lot of them being pretty fantastic. However, one small criticism I've always had about Moza steering wheels is that the paddle shifters can be too loud. This is due to them using a magnetic engagement, which results in a great feeling shifter. But thankfully, there is a really easy fix for the loud shifters on all Moza steering wheels. This fix is actually included in the box with every Moza wheel. So you should already have all the tools required to implement this fix. And I'm talking about the silencing pads. These silencing pads are included with every Moser steering wheel and are designed to soften and remove some of the noise from the paddle shifters. They're pretty easy to install and require just a few minutes of work. You do have to partially disassemble the paddle shifters to install them, but it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right here. On the left is the shifter with the silencing pads installed and on the right we have the stock shifter paddles without any pads installed. So you can hear that there is a pretty big difference between before and after. While the pads won't silence the Moser shifters completely, they will reduce the noise a lot. And this can be the difference between being able to focus more on racing without noticing the shifter noise and annoying your partner in the next room who's trying to catch up on Real Housewives while you're lapping Suzuka for the 500th time. So now let's jump in and have a look at exactly how to install the silencing pads. On the rear of all Moser wheels that include these magnetic shifters, you'll see a hex bolt. Unscrewing this and removing the bolt will allow us to partially remove the shifter and once the shifter's out we can then install the mute pads and reassemble the wheel. So the first step is to remove the hex screw so we'll take an allen key and we'll remove this hex. We simply unscrew it until it comes completely out. And then the second step is to remove the bolt. You can just slide this bolt out far enough to be able to release the shifter paddle. If your steering wheel has a dual clutch, just like this FSR wheel does, you don't need to remove the clutch paddle underneath, just the main shifter. Next, once you can pull the shifter arm away from the wheel, you can access the two parts where you need to install the silencing pads. Stick one pad on the rear of the shifter where the hole to the magnet is and then stick the second pad on the front side of the shifter arm where it makes contact during activation. You can see on my wheel here exactly where that is as there are already some contact marks from where I've been using this wheel without the silencing pads. And then once they're installed, we can simply reassemble the shifters. Push the shifter back into place and reinsert the bolt through the shifter. Then return the hex screw and tighten it all back up. And that is all you need to do to fix the loud shifters on Moser wheels. Simply repeat that process for the second shifter on the other side of the wheel and you'll be able to sim race in relative peace. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more sim racing content, product reviews, F122 content, F1 manager content, and all those good things. And leave a comment down below as well if you're using a Moser wheel and let me know which one you're using, whether you're enjoying it. But for now guys, I will see you on track.